Hello YouTube, this video will be about 30 minutes because I only have 30 minutes left on my camera but, hello, but let's just start Skip to three, uh, like about 3 minutes in the YouTube bar thing if you don't want to hear this story but it, it's been a while since I have, since I have made a f video, right? Um, well that has a few reasons to it um, I, have, I, I was actually sick this week, um, let's just tell it. Um, I was staying at my grandma and a few days before that I bought a HP T5550 Think Lions. Um, I've been experimenting a lot with it and I want to put some emulators on there but then I stayed at my grandma. Everything went great until I was sleeping uh, um, in bed there um, and I just couldn't sleep I slept really bad and the day after that I felt absolutely horrible um, I was having a cold um, I was having I was having pain in my throat um, like a really dry feeling in my throat most of the time that that takes like two days to relieve but this time it took like a few minutes um, but I felt really tired and I didn't want to do anything But I did because I didn't want to disappoint my grandma because she is really really uh, she is an amazing grandma if She's watching right now. I want to thank you um, You you bring me amazing times every, every single time um, But I went to a thrift store. I bought free tech items. I tried to make a video on that But my cold was way too hard um, I was getting distracted uh, the whole time and I forgot uploading it for good reason because it just was, it was a train wreck of a video. I've seen other YouTubers have this as well. Um, it's a very common common problem when creating contents, my friend. It, um, I was just having a little bit of health issues and the day after that I went to the... Well, the day before that I... I uh, no, the day after I made... Uh, should have uploaded that video. I went to the dentist and they had to do stuff with my dental braces and that was absolutely painful as crap. And now we... Uh, and it was really freaking painful. Um, I was super tired. Even more tired than before. And the day after that I uh, cleaned up my entire room. Which is why you are here. I was also really tired by the way. Now I'm feeling alright again. My cold is almost gone. Almost. Um, I'm not that... I'm not tired anymore and I'm home alone. So I can make a video without um, annoying annoyances. Um, and this video will be a very long video about the Philips 355 where I did a teaser video on which didn't have any views But that doesn't really matter. So now we are here with the Philips 355 and you're probably thinking well Where's your bet? Why are you not filming on your bet? Uh, well, um, I am stepping up my content and even my mother wasn't really happy that I filmed on my bet And I'm totally agreeing with her it's kind of weird to film on your bed, right? I know. Uh, I just don't have sufficient space. But now I do, and now I'm at my window filming this. Please drop a comment below. I really want to know if you guys think that this is a better place to film on. I personally think because of the nice white background and because of the wood grain. Um, I'm going to put an extra thing on top of my camera. There we go, uh, because my tripod is still gone. I have no idea why it went. Since I went to my grandma, no idea why it has gone. So, oh. It's not a very good tripod. But that oh, doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay, so the Philips 355, the reason why I'm reviewing this again is because my unboxing was really janky that I did like two years ago. Um, it was, I, I explained so much and crapped so much about uh, the box and everything that it went for ages the video. So let's just unbox this thing directly. Uh, around the box there's not much apart from the phone and that it's on KPN but uh, and any SIM card works for some reason. It's made in France. No uh, Chinese crap and it only works on GSM 918,000 uh, megahertz bands which is kind of crazy it's in the black forest color it did have a neck cord but i have no idea where it went a european charger a uh, dutch uh, manual and it's on kpn which is a dutch network i don't have a strap anymore and the battery indeed is 720 milliamp hours um let's open this boy up 
let's first take a look at the charger uh, the reason why I'm reviewing this again is because the video absolutely blew up like the stardom shutdown videos uh, still one of my most trending videos um, the charger is a 5 volt 500 milliamp power one um, that does have uh, protection as you can see but it's only one type of protection um, and it has all it can, you can uh, it does have regulation regulations and it's only usable inside well they recommend you at least I have used a laptop charger outside and that went totally fine <laughs> uh, before we take a look at the phones um, the phone uh, sometimes you get a lot of um, manuals with these older phones but this 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 seems to have um, just one, very nice and color printed. Um, a SAR value thing, international SAR value thing, whatever. A games thing, whatever. Man, I haven't looked into this. A international guarantee. Let's make things better. Well, I can only tell that Philips makes really good products. Don't, don't uh, no, not gonna lie. Um, I have no idea what this. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a freaking minute! Is this one of those regulatory things? Is this one of those sheets you get when you buy? Oh, this is prepaid. Uh, oh, this is one of those prepaid uh, sheet things, so you can uh, get more prepaid or something like that. Not totally sure, but it's empty and it's not used. There's the English user manual you get on top of that. Um, let's put the Dutch one back on top, and there we go. Stuff it all in there. Close the box. I uh, got this at a thrift store, by the way. And let's focus on the phone that blew up my channel. Yes, it's fully charged. Um, oh, and a little quirk on the charger to notice is although it's just a bar barrel plug, uh, they mentioned that it can take like 0 to 5 minutes in order to get a uh, um, picture on the device that it's charging. Well, mine it takes like, I don't know, 10 seconds, so that means that the battery is probably still good in this. And I don't know if you can see that, but you should. It says that you should not plug it into the headphone jack. I have done that, and nothing happens. Not recommended. So on the side of the device, we have multiple uh, lanyard straps. On the top, nothing. On the other side, same deal with these nice black smooth rims. Um, and on the bottom, you find your uh, port for your two and a half millimeter headphone jack, which we can open. And your charging port. So, what else do we have here? Um, the flap is very hard to close, and it really freaking sucks. And it does not want to close anymore right now. Yeah, come on, close. <sighs> Anyways, on the back we found our 0.1 megapixel camera. I really love the design on the back. It, it looks kind of badass, but so small at the same time. Um, the text is 155 digital camera phone um, and by the way if you're into the 355 and um, other Philips phones in terms of their uh, model scheme yes the 350 did release and the 350 was basically a skin down version of this uh, don't know how far it goes but this one has a higher resolution screen than the 350 and it has a camera and the 350 does not have a camera um, but the 350 is available in a brown color uh, yes I did check on GSM Marina and this thing has a higher resolution screen 128 by 128 I think instead of like 64 by 64 still kind of low um, but it has 65k colors and Dude, it's higher quality, okay? It's higher resolution, so that's better. Um, the back cover on the back has just nothing except the printing. Um, you can see the absolutely tiny camera lens. It's 2 millimeter, by the way. Uh, and the battery, which actually lo it looks like it's not removable, but it is. Um, one of the minus points on Philips phone... Philip phones... Fi <sighs> One of the minor points on Philips phones is that I've seen a lot of them with batteries that look really crappy and really cheap and actually look kind of like they're gonna explode any second. Uh, 
I have seen one that is swelled up. I can't get it out. Don't worry, it's just a 720 milliamp power cell. It's 720. Let's just take a look at the cell first before I digress. Come on. 3.7 volt, 720 milliamp hours, rechargeable. Um, made in China and assembled in China. Yeah, China, China, China. Um, we'll get this back on the cover. Even the cover makes it look makes it look really sleek. Although the phone is kind of thick, the cover makes it look like it's not meant to come off. And I actually really love that design. I haven't seen that on like basically any Nokia, and uh, probably not on any Samsung phone in my collection. So that is really really nice with this flat look, no protruding camera lens. It is thick, but you do get a nice hold on it since it's really small. Um, so that is a good thing. So let's turn the device on. Don't know how these people, uh, what those people are. Um, shall we compare the 350 to the 355? Yes. So I'm gonna get a phone in here, uh, my phone. Um, go to GSM Arena and let's just Philips 350 compared to 355. So I don't know if you can see. Um, no, I'm just gonna tell it. Um, Oh, so there's quite a bit of difference. The um, 350 has a STN display with 4,096 4, color, uh, uh, colors. Um, the display is a very big difference here. It's one, uh, 112 by 112 pixels, 7 lines. But the 355 that I have here has 128 by 128 pixels. But instead of the very small 4K colors, it has 56K of colors and it's CSTN. Uh, CSTN is still very sucky, but I have no idea. If there's anything worse than CSTN, and if that is STN, then I'm gonna say that this is a very nice display. Yes, those were chips. <laughs> um, oh, well, the battery has drained a bit. Um, there we go. Um, the display looks crisp, but it's not the brightest. Uh, opening the menu, you just press the OK button. Um, you got settings, multimedia, games and applications, phone book, demo, which is just air rape, and that's it. Uh, so let's go to settings and let you guys hear the sounds of this thing. Come on, stupid joystick is dying on me. What the fuck? Okay, can I get, navigate it now? Yes, I can navigate it without this stupid joy. Hey. Okay, I guess we're not gonna do ringtones here. Um, I have had multiple times that the joystick falls off. Um... I have seen people complaining about the same thing happening on a Alcatel, a Alcatel free, f no, a Alcatel, a Alcatel, um, jeez, what, what, uh, um, 511, I do have a 511, but it doesn't have a broken joystick, it has a fucked up battery, which is even worse, um, Let's take a look at multimedia, see what this thing actually does. Does it do YouTube? No. Let's take a look at the camera real quick. Um, I'm gonna do a ringtones video separate here. Um, because it's just gonna take way too long, man. I only have 15 minutes left on my camera. Also, the um, 355 has 8 megabytes of storage, while the 350 has only 2 megabytes. Um... Both don't have a headphone jack for some reason. Well, they say that, but that's not true because they have. Um, same battery. But the 355 was released a year after and the 355 sold more. Um, and that's basically it. They both take mini SIM, um, but the 355 is also a little bit heavier. 82 grams instead of 75. So, uh, let's just take a picture of outside. My goodness, this camera is cut. This camera is not that good. It's two uh, 320 by 240 pixels. Wow. So let's take a look at the camera interface real quick. Um, it just says your resolution right there. Um, hashtag is what does hashtag do? Hashtag bumps up the uh, 
brightness and star what does star do oh star enables the night mode it actually has a night mode oh well sort of there we go that's night oh no idea how to turn down in brightness. Zero is for timer. Uh, it doesn't have a uh, function for the um, video because it doesn't take any video. Um, it isn't that laggy for its CSTN display. It is actually quite a smooth frame, frame rate to be honest. I uh, don't know if you can see that. But I kind of like it but the camera interface is kind of comprehensive to use. It does have zoom. Um, by the way, it says the specs on the back. <laughs> 2x digital zoom, 2mm lens. Absolutely amazing. It does have a zoom, which is kind of surprising. As far as I'm going to let it focus, there we go. Is that? Yep, that's the zoom. So let's just take a picture without the zoom real quick. Um, I would say the lighting is not good at all. Uh, no idea how, how I can actually change that. Um, no idea what star actually does, um, but hashtag seems, oh, um, star does enable the lighting for a bit, um, but, oh, um, if you press star, that, no, hashtag actually changed the resolution to 160, the 160 by 120, if you press it again, it will change to 128 by 128, which is the screen resolution. So that's nice. You have like three presets of the resolution. Um, quite a comprehensive camera. I, I, I'm liking this so far. Um, and if pressed it again, it will go to the highest resolution, which is 240p. Um, that is also great. Um, it, so if you if you're saving data here, you can just go to 120 uh, um, 128 by 128 since that's the screen resolution so 240p it actually takes 240p pictures which is quite impressive since that is like twice the resolution that the display can handle so let's take a picture here it does look atrocious to be really honest oh that is so horrendous to take a picture you actually have to press this button and not the middle button because if you press the middle button it will uh, have all these options so the options are color mode camera mode do, do, if it has video it does have a night mode though yes it does have a night mode come on um, you can set a sound I think I actually turned that off but I'm not totally sure Let's set the camera clip. Oh my goodness, you can set literally a fucking ringtone as a camera sounds. Come on, go back. Um, resolutions are one, uh, 160 by 120. Don't know if that's higher than the display. Um, we'll just set it to 240D. Quality is set to high. And it has a timer built in, which is great. Because although you don't use it much, it's definitely needed. So let's take a picture real quick. Oof, it's glitching on me a little bit. I thought, what the hell was that hissing noise in the background, but it's my computer hard drive. Why is it not taking a freaking picture? <laughs> oh my goodness, that shutter noise. Well, wow, it says Philips in the... Uh, this is the picture that I took, and the w uh, the only thing that I absolutely hate about this is how to access your pictures. It is absolutely impossible. Oh, so it was actually saving it? Not totally sure. Oh, so let's take a picture again. This time off my camera. Um, and there we go. Um, which button do I have to press? This one. That's like my. Ooh, it's glitching. Oh, crap. Let's take another picture and then we'll take a look at the results. It's glitching on me. Holy fuck. That's like a very glitchy, very glitchy preset of what you just took. 
um, it doesn't show anything except the top blue bar, so it may be corrupting or something. I'm not even here. Um, you can take notes with this, so it's quite a comprehensive phone to be really honest. Um, it does have built-in photos, which kind of sucks. And they're all over the place, you can see. If I scroll, then this is the newest picture that we took. Oh, and if you press this, nope. you uh, It won't show the picture. What you gotta do is, I think you have to press that MMS camera button thing right here again. Oh, no. You have to go with the joy. It's so dumb. You have to go with the joystick like this. And then it shows the picture. Oh, yes, it has been taken fully. There, there's no corruption, don't worry. Oh, and now I have to scroll again, which is really annoying. I only have eight minutes left, so this is just gonna be a unboxing plus a uh, camera uh, comparison, so we'll just do this. That, this is how fast it loads. It doesn't have a dedicated GPU. Um, yep, yeah, my camera is focusing fine. That is the legit picture. That is the legit picture that you're taking a look at. <laughs> and it has looked up on me. There we go. And that is me with my Olympus SP800UC. <laughs> to be honest, that is actually kind of classy looking. Yeah, doesn't look too bad, but uh, but for one point of my episode, but hey, there's my old radio that's now for my mom. Anyways, that was a uh, unboxing and camera test of the Philips 355 Plus. I did a little spec sheet. Um, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry that it's so short. It should have been a full review. Let's just shut it down. Yes, my camera shutter is making a tick noise every single time because it's holding itself in the stupid lighting. There we go. Now that's there we go. Um, nice phone. Don't hate it at all. It's a very nice phone. Crappy, but the cons are crappy joystick. The menu can look up, look up, and, and be slow at times. But w once you're done with training with your Philips, you're. <laughs> You're totally alright to go and you can just use this as a normal phone that has quite a good amount of multimedia functions um, but it only has 8 megabytes of storage so any expansion is going to be a very small amount. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, the box doesn't want to close and I think I'm gonna break it so anyways, see y'all later.